Okay, to flash pretty much any BL Heli 32 ESC to AM32, you're going to need a BL Heli 32 ESC. In this case, it's a Diatone F40, and you're gonna have to make sure that each of the ESC microcontrollers, which are on the back here, so you have microcontroller and gate driver, each of them needs to have their digital in and clock pins uh, free of some sort. So there's these two little pads you can see. And so each microcontroller gets two pads. They're the programming pins and you need them to flash off bootloader. And then you're also going to need uh, an ST link and to, with the ST link, you're going to take your digital in and clock pins and find some way of making like a pogo connector. I made it out of just standard like standard pitch pins. Uh, there's better ways to do it, but this works. So you you need to find something that you can touch to these uh, pads uh, for some for for programming. And then you're also going to need to connect the ground wire in some way so you can ground uh, the ESC and the ST link together. And you're also going to need a Windows laptop uh, with the AM32 ESC unlocker tool. Uh, you're going to need to find the MCU type of your ESC. In my case, it's an F421. And to find that, you can just look at the chips themselves and it will say it on them in very small. So that is your chip type. And then you're going to need to find your signal pin, which is uh, a little bit harder to find. I would recommend just ask it in the AM32 Discord. Uh, but in my case, it's a PV4, you need an ST link, and you want to unlock. Uh, and then you're also going to need a, some sort of power supply or some way of putting voltage. So my idea is I've got two ground cables connected. One of them I will just grab onto that ESC lead. And then the other one, I will grab the ESC like that and the ESC like that. And now I can make, I can easily power the ESC, but you can do this in any way. I would recommend using a power supply so you can, uh, you know, current limit it. Step number one is just to turn everything on. So um, you're going to need your power supply. I'm going to put it on 10 volts and about half an amp. Um, I'm going to unplug the positive lead for now, so I can have no voltage yet. Uh, I'm going to just connect the negative lead and the positive lead. So that I can power it and it's nice and stable so that we can do the ST link. And then the ST link is a little bit more tricky, so you're going to want to bring your laptop Close enough. Uh, I'll put it right here so that you can plug in the ST link. So, yeah, you can plug in your ST link into your computer. It will hopefully detect it. And now, if you press start on, um, you should, you can hear this noise. It'll make this noise and it'll say like uh, target voltage. If it's reading out voltage, that means it is connected. So now it is trying to flash. It'll, it'll continuously try to flash. Um, but you now connect your ground. So now I have the ground and the ESC connected of the ST link. Uh, so now all I have to do is turn on my power supply in order to put some voltage on the ESC. Like so you should, and then we can bring the laptop a little bit closer. Really carefully, you really don't want to short things out. Also, the polarity of this connector doesn't really matter. If you switch it around, it won't harm anything. So you can kind of just try both orientations. And so you're basically just Really steady hand to do this. 
So that's the first one you can you heard. I hope you heard the computer. It basically just did boop 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 And that means that it is working. Is my camera focusing? Probably not. So yeah, you're basically just trying to really lightly touch the pogo pins And there's probably to do this Whew, okay so that's two make sure again not to short anything I've actually done that before and it's really not fun because you know This one is the hardest one because there's like just two and stuff really close to it and it's mains voltage. Alright, so that's four ESCs. Now you have the um, the bootloader uh, applied. Uh, next step, so now basically it is AM32. You can just connect the um, ESC to a AM32 configurator. And I will show how to do that later. But you can basically just connect this to a flight controller now and connect it to am32.canada or .ca and you can use their online tool to change your settings. So um, yeah, that's basically it.